Do it again. Okay. Blessing. All right, do you want to be in the video? Sure. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! It's rising! If you touch it, you'll make it lose all Is of it its floof. floof. No, it's rising. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Freedom Homestead. You all remember Parker. <laughs> um, today I went and got groceries. And normally when I get groceries, I show you the table and we discuss each item and how much I paid for it. But today we had uh, workers uh, in the background and I honestly did not feel comfortable filming in front of them. It felt very awkward and so I did not talk while I was showing the items that I bought. What I did was I basically took the camera and I showed each individual uh, item that I purchased. And so I will be doing a voiceover telling you about the item. I also went to two different places. I went to the, uh, the salvage store, the Amish salvage store that has the deli, bakery, bulk, and salvage stuff. And then I also went to Walmart. I was planning on going to both of the salvage stores that I frequent, but I knew that if I went to the second one, I would have been way over budget. So I saved myself the heartache and just skipped the second salvage store. It pained me to do that. I'm sure you can imagine. But um, I, th I knew that there were other things that I needed to get, and I knew that if I went, I would have completely blown the budget. So, um, so that's, that's a tip. If you are trying to save money, stay out of areas where you know you would uh, blow the budget. <laughs> just just be, be on the offense and just don't do it. So what I typically do if you are new around here, when I go to the salvage store and I get salvage items, what I like to do is tell you what I paid for it and then at the bottom I will show you what the retail price is if I were to purchase that item at the actual grocery store, if I can find the item that is. So without further ado, let's get to the grocery haul. I went to the salvage store and I went to Walmart. All right, so let's get a quick scan of all the goods. And we're gonna start at the end with the salvage store items. And remember the salvage items, I will share the retail price down at the bottom, so be watching for that. But this store also has bulk, and so I did get some bulk items like this pumpernickel flour. It was almost five pounds for $3.40. The organic oats was $2.70. Um, this legacy dairy is actually a somewhat local dairy and that is non-homogenized milk. It's very delicious. Now these Cliff Bars, $4.50 for a full box, which is a great deal. I was really happy to find this big bag of frozen tortellini for less than $4.00. This Smithfield hot sausage was 99 cents a roll. I only got two rolls, even though there was a ton of it. My plan is to mix that in with some ground beef. Got some organic Annie's macaroni and cheese. I am definitely moving too fast for my own good. These organic frozen pepper and onion strips, only 75 cents a bag. I got these fire beets for $5.79, I believe. Um, that organic olive oil was $8.50. This cornmeal was $2.94 for almost five pounds. Here's some more salvage. I got two cans of pumpkin pie uh, for $0.65 cents a piece. It's just pumpkin as the ingredients. I got a jar of honey for $12.79. And the beets, there we go, $5.49. I got a bag of organic split green peas for $0.99 cents for a future soup. This is delicious granola, grain-free, $1.25, fantastic. That was everything that I got from the salvage store. Now time for the Walmart haul. Watch below for the prices. I got some uncured ham for sandwiches. Got a container of sour cream. I had to get more eggs because our chickens are not laying. Some French vanilla coffee creamer, some bananas, Napa cabbage for a Thai chicken salad. I have that recipe on the channel. I'll link it below. Some organic whole carrots, some strawberries, and some cilantro, again, for that Thai chicken salad. Got a couple packs of cream cheese, some fish sauce, Again, the Thai chicken salad. <laughs> uh, we got some green onions, an English cucumber, 
Back here we have a one pound block of mild cheddar cheese and a one pound block of mozzarella cheese. I got some cauliflower florets and broccoli florets for snacking. I grabbed a couple of lemons and a couple of limes. That spinach dip, y'all, if you haven't tried it, it is so, so good. So I got the big container. It is a little on the pricey side, but it's really, really good. And by the time you make it, you almost spend the same amount. I also got a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes and a three pound bag of sweet potatoes. Okay, friends, so you saw what I got. Now let's talk about the meal plan for the week. Uh, tonight, I am actually getting ready to make a Thai chicken salad, and I actually do have this recipe on the channel, and I will link that down below if you are interested. Um, and with that, we are going to have pumpernickel bread, which I have rising right over here. Another night, we are going to have potato soup, um, not the poor man's potato soup that I have on the channel, but the kind that's got uh, sour cream and cream cheese and, and all of that yummy stuff. So I don't know if I have that, if I have that recipe on the channel. If it's not, I will record it for you and share with you at another time. Um, if I don't have it, or if I do have it, then I will link it below. But I honestly do not remember making a video on that. But I will share the poor man's potato soup down below. Another night we are going to have tortellini soup, which is a recipe that I have on the channel and I will share that down below. No big grief. But what is gonna be awesome with this recipe is I'm actually going to be using Italian sausage that I can. This is terrible. I somehow deleted the rest of the footage for this. So let me finish up the menu plan. Another night we are going to have homemade pizza. I will share with you the sheet pan pizza recipe. Thinking about using my home canned uh, Italian sausage. I actually just picked up the steer today and I've got a whole video showing y'all what we got, how much it cost, and then me trying to fit it all into the down, uh, the downstairs deep freeze. And I just ordered myself a tortilla press. I'm going to try my hand at making corn tortillas. Now I have made flour tortillas and I have a, um, it was actually my very first frugal family food video, and I will share that down below um, on how to, how to make those. I'm telling you what, once you have had homemade tortillas, you, I mean, store-bought just tastes like paper. It's terrible. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to try my hand at making corn tortillas, and we are going to have some fajitas with some of the steer that we just got today uh, with the, uh, the peppers and onions that I got in the grocery haul. And then another night, I we're either going to do chicken pot pie or we are going to do beef stroganoff because I need to make videos showing y'all how I use what I had canned to make the actual dish. So we might be having those sometime this week. So anyway, Ruger and I hope that you all have had a wonderful day that you enjoyed this video that you found it helpful and until next time remember to be vigilant be prayerful and be prepared and we will catch y'all in the next one god bless you all bye